What's up guys, this is Pixar back you guys and today we got some like pretty late investments for team of the year which is coming out in two to three days I believe. Um not exactly sure guys. But first I'm gonna show you guys um how to make coins for uh team of the team of the year so you can actually invest in them. Um so you guys can be using these two brand new um league SPCs that just came out. So all MLS players are up in price because the Giovinco SPT came out, and Calcio players are also up in price, guys. So you also can so you can sell these guys if you already have them in your club. You can go trade with some of them. Calcio is better. So I'll show you guys what I've done. Um, I've sold a ton of players from these leagues, but other of the leagues. So I'm gonna scroll through all these guys, and I also scroll, sold my team, guys. I sold my whole team. It's like 150,000 coins that are tradable because most, like, most of my team is untradable now from all the SBCs and everything but yeah guys um that's the end of it right there we list the rest of them so I sold my team guys because during team of the, se team of the year a lot of players are going to be put onto the market because everybody's going to be opening packs which means the market's going to be crashing a lot which means the market's going to go down which is good for buying your team when the market goes down and selling when it goes up so yeah guys so that could also make you a bunch of coins like that. You sell for more, buy for less. Make coins off of that, guys. But also, going back to the league SBCs, um, players like Juventus players around 83 rated, because that's what the team needs, are very, very high. So 82 to 85 would be really, really high. Starting off with Benashia, guys. Look at this Benashia, selling for 8.6k. So you guys can set it down to about 7k and just snipe these Benashias. So I don't have all the time to go through and snipe them all, so I will just keep moving on to different players. Um, Costa should be up in price. I haven't checked Costa. Oh, no, Douglas Costa. Um, Douglas Costa. Probably about four k. Okay. He's not been affected that much because it's an eighty-three rated squad. Um, but he's gone up though. He's definitely gone up. Gone up about a k, which is still profit. So. Um, you also could, what other players are there? There's Pjanic, Kadira, I'm not going to go through all them guys, even Benucci's might go up, and then the lower, then people can buy Benucci and the lower rated guys also work, but I'm pretty sure Pjanic should already a lot of coins. Also, if people have more coins, they can invest in him, he is up in price, I think, 3k, which is also more coins. Um... When we're going to the Giovinco SPC, Giovinco himself should be up in price because he's one. He's the highest rated guy from the MLS. No, he's actually super, super cheap. So I would not. I would stay away from the MLS trading though because it's not as profitable, guys. And also another thing, guys. Moving on to the next part of this episode or video um, would be packs. You guys want to stock up on packs, guys? So a couple days ago, EA, or the past couple weeks, people. You guys have been putting out some league SPCs. Don't know if you guys went and did it. It's for the premium gold packs per league. Um, I've done almost all of them. I've done quite a few of them. I've done almost all the leagues. But for I've already opened those packs on another video. But for this, I've gone with La Liga premium upgrade players packs and premium gold packs. Just because majority of the players in Team of the Year are from La Liga. If you guys actually do not know who's in the Team of the Year... Um, in goal is Buffon, right back Dani Alves, uh, both center backs are Ramos and Chiellini. Is it Chiellini or Benucci? Let me look at this up, guys. Um, I think it's Chiellini. I'm almost positive. Um, yeah, okay, guys, it is Killini. Um, the Buffon, Donny Alves, Killini, Ramos, Marcelo, Cruz, and Yesta, Modric, same as last year. Um, the Messi, Neymar, and Ronaldo, guys. Those are the most majority of them do come from La Liga. So I've gone ahead and done those. I've also done some other SBC packs like Marky Matchups, guys. Um, get some good packs from that. And doing foot drafts also can get you packs. But what I've also gone and done off camera, guys, so I can hurry up and submit this for you guys, is I've gone and done the Super League 
SBC because I actually want this Charisma to heal, heal link up perfectly to my Costa. But I've gone ahead and done it all ahead. I accidentally submitted this one. Um, it's just a gold pack. You guys can look up bit Footbin what how to do it because I'm not gonna actually go through it. I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly because I don't want to make this video forever. So yeah, guys, I just did this real quick and we get a K and a silver pack, which is not gonna give us team of the year, obviously. But other packs will. This is a rare gold pack in this one. And we're just gonna go through and submit all of these. Um, so yeah, guys, it's very very cost me about 150k, I believe, to do this SBC. And we'll probably make quite a bit of money back from the packs, making a uh, good profit. Another trading method you guys can do is going over to Elia. He is a left mid from the Super League. Um, he's from this team right here. I don't, I'm not gonna try to say it, but um, he has gone up in price a lot at the left mid position because of the SBC. Where what you can do is you can buy him at left wing, convert him down to left mid, and Sell them for more and make profit. Um, I'll show you guys that in just a second. It's one of the more expensive ones right here. Getting a premium gold players pack. Gladys Scurry, also a more expensive one. A prime electron player pack. So you do get some decent packs from this. And I do get one of the players I liked. I submitted this one already because it's not even a pack. It's a rare consumable pack. Which we're going to open in a second because it's not no players. So it doesn't want to matter for team of the season. Or team of the year, sorry. Um, another two player pack in 1k. Um, keep going. This is a you guys can do any of the league SBCs. Um, there's actually the cha uh, EFL Championship one, which gives you 21 packs. If you guys are interested in that more, he's 155k according to the Footbin, and he has 80 pace, 83 physical, and 80 or 83 strength. Wait, uh, 83 defending, 80 physical, I believe. This is a very, very nice card. He could fit into many Premier League teams. But this one. A rare gold pack. So yeah, guys, we're gonna have about 30 packs already for this one. I submitted, guys, just because it's a hunter card. Um, probably about 30 packs, so 35 packs. Um, for time of team of the year, guys. The way team of the year should work, like I did last year, is they're probably gonna come out with the um defenders and goalkeepers first for two days. Then the next two days will be midfielders. The next two days will be strikers or attackers, I guess. And then the next two days after that will be all of them. So I'm going to wait till all of, all of them come out, as will probably most people, um, to try and do a big pack opening for it. Because um, I just feel like there's a better chance when they're all out in packs. So I'll wait until Team of the Year should be starting Monday or Tuesday. And by probably the weekend, it should start with the full teams. There you go, guys. We have completed them all. And we just got Charisma. And 25,000 coins right there, guys. That was very, very nice. It's a nice card right there. Look at the card. Um, to actually be used, I'm going to use him in a striker position. Um, he has nice speed for it. Only thing he kind of lacks is strength. Kind of weak. So I can give him maybe like a hawk card, bring that up a bit with his pace and shooting. Stuff like that, guys. That would work right there. Um, but yeah, guys. Moving on. Show you guys how many packs we got now. We got 30 packs exactly. For the last thing you can do in this episode, guys, to gain money to get these out to get these packs, is go. I should get tell you guys earlier. Um, Elia's a left wing. They're selling for 800 coins, 700 coins. Earlier when I checked, they were a big difference in price. Have they price fixed yet? Look, guys. He's through the roof. Left mid position. There is not a left mid position of Elia on the market, guys. People are not going to want to change from change their position. So if he went up 5k, they're probably just going to buy it. So what you guys want to do is go through, find these Elias. I'm going to buy all of them because I have 50,000 coins to try to build up a bit. Um, there you go. I bought four Elias. I should actually have the consumables in my club. Um, so I'm going to go through, throw them all into a team, or one at a time, i got to do it, just because it takes um, duplicates. So we'll go through, and we'll list them up at 5k each, and we'll see what they, I'll see what they sell. And they definitely should. They'll sell around 2k for sure, I can tell you that. But yeah, guys, let's go. How many left wings, or left wings to left mid do I have in the club? Left mid to left wings, we have four of them. 
I did not mean to do that. I meant to use it. So what I can do is I can just take one at a time, put them into a squad. Oh, I have the left mid position in it. Take this one, for example. Throw an Elia. Take a... I'm going to have to go high to low. We'll chuck an Elia. Oh, yeah, I forgot the left wing. Um, throw Elia in. Attach the left wing to left mid card. And basically sell him for 5k now. He might sell, maybe not. If he sells immediately for 5k, I'll lift him up at like 6. Put him up 4.9, so he's under 5k. And guys, if you actually do sell, you're making a 4.5k probably per card. Which is insane profit off of a cheap guy that pops up on the market a lot. If they'll sell, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna put them for lower prices, see what happens. But at certain prices, they should be selling. So, yeah, guys, let's go lift up another one for a little bit cheaper, see if he'll sell faster. Then we're gonna wrap the video up on that right there, guys. List him up at 2k instead, because we're still in profit. Um, uh, let's at 2.4k, see what happens. Actually, let's at 3.4, so no one tries to price fix it. Damn, if they do, actually, I'll still make profit. So, yeah, guys, let's basically wrap up the video right there, guys. That is just one way. You can probably go through and find other players who could also be like that. But, yeah, guys, that's a short little video. We're not sure. It's 12 minutes on how to make some coins for Team of the, C team of the Year. Also, actually, I'll go from this one real quickly, guys. You guys can actually buy the players itself, like Modric. You can go pick up Modric's um, Chiellini. Because when they're not in packs, their price goes up. might not go up a ton, but it will go up at least enough for you to make a couple K. Modric is at 45K, so it is affordable. Um, bid's at 40, so you can probably get them for 42 on bid. But yeah, guys, that's another way you guys can do it. Hope you guys did enjoy this, enjoy this short video. Make sure to hit the sub button, guys. Um, hit the like button down below. And yeah, guys, that's it for today, guys. Uh, peace.